What's up, everybody? Mattis Faction here, and today I am looking at the Clydesdale. Man. Uh, for those of you who attend the lives, which you should if you don't, not, I'm not saying mine, but just, you know, any of the lives, there's a man named Loot Tentex. And in that man's brain was a vision. And that vision, he named after a horse. And that horse was huge. And one day, he toiled and toiled, and he turned that vision into this. The Clydesdale. Look at that. In a world full of a thousand million trillion drop points with your basic handles, we got something new, fresh, unique, budget-friendly, amazing. And it's the Clydesdale. This is titanium scales, titanium hardware with 14C, 28N steel. This comes to a point. I have sliced my palm open with it. Uh, which hand was it? One of these has a boo-boo. No, oh, it looks like it's kind of healing. Maybe that's it. But the tip, the tip caught me. The tip always gets me. There it is closed. So this is a flicker and a front flipper, but I suck at front flipping. So what I, what I do is I kind of just push and then I just slow roll it. The detent's also pretty strong on this one, but I, I'm not, I can't front flip. I suck. It's on bearings and you got filler tabs. I believe Kubi is the OEM. Yeah, Kubi is the OEM. It's got a sweet hollow grind. This thing's a smudge magnet because I can't keep my hands off it. But the action is awesome. I mean, it's cool. There it is up against the Kaiser Phoenix. Uh, another awesome design you guys should check out probably. Oh, shout out Lancelot. He made this mat for me. Lancelot Leather is my only leather source. But this is freaking awesome. We were watching Loot. Just, he does lives on Saturdays. And uh, we, we got to watch this go from a CAD design he would doodle with to boom. Here it is in my hands. And so, so uh, Loot, his name is Mark. He, uh... He got to enjoy Flurgen Walken Hoosian standing or whatever I said for this. He now knows that feeling of he drew something and now it's in people's hands. This thing's sweet though. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's different. I don't like it, but you should check it out. We need more different things. There's a thousand drop points, but look, we got this divot right here. Boom. Draw cuts are perfect. You can get your thumb up there. Do whatever kind of thing you need to do with this. Slicing carrots or apples. Feather sticking. Lots of good jimping there. Uh, this little swedge is just something. Or not swedge. What is this? I mean, it, it's got a dip. And it's, it's something cool. And the tip just kind of flares out. Just the littlest bit, but it's enough to make it like freaking awesome. It reminds me of like the front of a train, the cattle guard. But this thing is awesome. It's only one version. You got the stonewashed titanium with the black hardware, which looks awesome. There's where it says 14C28N. Oh, this first batch that was released were for pre-orders and they were numbered. This one is number two, two, one. And I would love to show you, but like he said, show side. So this side it's on the blade, but it's so tiny that like, even without trying to show you it, uh, we're not going to be able to see it, but there's just a bunch of neat little things. Like the scales don't just go round, round and round. It's got like these cool little 
little dimples, something fun, different, unique. Look how centered that is. It's perfect. I would say for me, the one of the only negatives I have, and it's probably uh, just mine, is sometimes when I open it, locks up good, but I can click it over. Like if I'm trying to close, I keep catching myself. It doesn't quite unlock. And so I can, I can fiddle with it. But if I just kind of open it all the way, it locks up. But like sometimes I go to close it and then it just, I don't push it all the way and then it gets stuck there. And I think really I could fix it just by filing just a teeniest little bit down. So I could probably fix it and no problem. But just for me, this particular one, and I'm not going to return it. This is no fault of anybody. This, you know, it just happens. When you have knives on a thing, it's going to happen. So I'll just fix it. I think it just didn't get filed just enough. I mean, it's the tiniest little bit. But even still, with that... Ooh, I probably... Oh, why did I do that on my mat? This thing passes the spine whacking test. You boys whacking off in my tool shed? But, uh, yeah, so, I mean... I damaged my desk now. What do I do? Do I damage the mat or the desk? What am I doing? Anyway, so, yeah. Other than that little thing, and I'm going to fix it, uh, this thing is awesome. It's fun to flick. Uh, I love supporting friends. Mark is an awesome dude. Loot 10. Super supportive. His lives are funny. He always asks you what your snack is. And uh, I don't have a snack today, but maybe I'll eat one of these icebreakers. Mint cinnamon. Many or one. Oh, they're sugar-free. Sweet. This is from Ed. Thank you, Ed. Let's do some size comparisons. Let's see. Let's do the Honey Badger. I believe this is the medium there you go there's a honey badger let's see let's do ooh something we haven't seen in a while uh honey badger this is the large worm cleaver so there's that and then there it is up against the phoenix uh -huh, mine's bigger just kidding <laughs> some fun stuff oh here we go we got a uh i forgot the name what is it it's is is uh i forgot the name of it all of a sudden anyway one of those that's the hawk bill thanks stella let's put this one away and because i love it let's do a cold steel lady 15 boom do, do, do. So there's some size comparisons, and then here it is up against a goat. Ah, oh, he's seen better days. He actually broke apart this morning. He has no ears, so he can't hear that his scream isn't doing so hot. This is a fun one too. 8015. But I mean, what do you guys think? What do you think? This one. I really dig. It's 14C28N, a thick slab of titanium. It's uh, It's been weight reliefed in there. It's a liner lock. You can front flip it. You can flick it. It's different, unique, sexy. It's got a sweet hollow grind. The overall length, according to that site there, says 7.625 inches. 3.3 inches, and you know, I don't know if that goes all the way to here is 3.3 or cutting length, and I could measure it. I guess I will. Looks like that's cutting length. So I have a little measuring mat over there, and uh, 
It's just cool. I dig this one. Oh yeah, wait, 4.7 ounces. I could get a scale, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna get a scale. Do I even have a scale? I have a scale. All right. I'll get a scale. You guys asked for. Look how dirty this is. There we go. Obviously, it's been a while. Four point seven. Four point seven. Woo! It's almost like the website's telling the truth. For once. Uh this will be on sale starting today, twelve eight, for one twenty five. I highly recommend you get this yours won't do this this is just mine and if it does it's an easy fix i hope no it is i just need to file a little bit down i get to take it apart so that's fun i love taking things apart and uh yeah looks like it's t8 all around so what do you think something different unique designed from somebody in the community Kind of like the jet stream and the Phoenix. And uh, it's awesome. I, I, I love supporting people that you know you have a face to them. And you can actually like reach out and talk to them. It's it's awesome. And I think Loot is doing amazing things. Uh, you guys should see his other designs. If this one doesn't appeal to you, check out his other stuff. He's got a unique style. And I think you'll like it. Let's see. Oh, I have the box, too. Even his box. You guys know me and my black and red. Box was cool. There it is. He even put a little personal note. Thanks for your support. I hope you enjoy the design, man. Let me put it on a sticker. Here it is. Number 221 out of 400. QC'd by Mark. And there's the extra filler tab. So you can put it right or left, carry. He's just an awesome dude. Go support him. This knife is sweet. I dig it. I really dig it. And uh, I just oh, freaking love it. Yeah. I mean, this right here, you can really get your finger in that divot. And you could do all kinds of cool. So this would be an awesome sticker scraper. But uh, let me know what you think. I dig it. I think it's cool. I like supporting community members, especially when they have cool stuff. But uh, that's all I got for you. So uh, until we meet again, I bid you adieu.